Hey everybody, just wanted to pull over and take a time out to talk to uh, you referees out there behind the driver's wheel, buckled in and, you know, making your referee decisions. Do I go for it or do I slow down and stop? So, to you referees in the driver's seat, meaning you got to make a good call and a bad call and, you know, stay in self-control and, you know, keep your cool-headed calmness and, you know, remain, you know, remain on point so you don't look like a fool or whatever you want to label it, you know. Me, when I mess up, I tattletale on myself and, you know, call myself out for being a fool. So that's my, that's for me. You, you pick your own word, but here it is. Pay attention. Two opportunities happened today within a 20-minute time frame. Now, the first event was over there on Forest Drive where the Baskin Robbins intersection is at that cross light. I think the Trader Joe's is on the other side. So that's the first event. That referee was not so lucky, uh, and I'll get to that in a second. The second referee was over at the Fort Jackson Boulevard light where the Kilbourne and the Fort Jackson Boulevard intersect one another. Now, I don't know these people. I just witnessed it as I was moving along and staying in my lane and doing my own business. Now, here's what's going on. The referee at the Baskin Robbins light on Forest Drive had the opportunity to slow down when she saw the yellow instead of running the red light. Let me be honest. She didn't make it through. She smacked the car that was having the green light left turn opportunity and she smacked it head on and ruined both ends. Now, both drivers got out of the car. They were able to walk. They're all fine. That's all I know because I'm staying in my lane and I'm doing my thing and focusing ahead on the road and keeping my referee calls me safe. Now, are they okay? Are they fine? Do they need help? I don't know. The, there were two cars that pulled over after the wit, the accident happened, so they're at least handling business. So, to that first accident, hope you guys are okay. You live and you learn, and you learn as you live. So, second opportunity. Second opportunity was at the light when the dude could have slowed down when he saw the yellow. Now, he's in the right lane, option to turn to Kilbourne if he chose to. However, beside him is a set another car they both see the yellow the car to the left of the truck slowed down for the yellow and hit the brakes politely and you know is safe the truck just kept moving on now here's where I'm getting with as a referee you can make good calls bad calls and that wasn't so smart calls so let's take out number three and let's go with the primary two in life you're going to have two opportunities to make a decision. A good opportunity or a bad opportunity. And it's up to you to be the mature one and use that head more than what's going on with, oh, well, everyone says do this, everyone says do that. No, focus. You're in the driver's seat. You're all alone or with your passenger. And you got to think about your safety and their safety. And you can't be making dumb decisions, foolish decisions, just because you want to beat the light. If you guys want to make sure you're in the right, doing all good, and you slow down for the yellow, that's great. Then I'm not talking to you. You guys that just did what I witnessed today, I want you guys to make sure that you are still making your referee calls that benefit you. I'm not arguing that. However, you need to make the wise decision, the mature decision, to make sure that if you see that yellow light and you know it's going to turn red in two seconds, slow down and just wait for the light to turn from red to green. All right, now that's all I'm going to say on that subject. I hope both incidents are okay. I hope that the first accident I witnessed today is okay. And I hope there are, you know, minor injuries if no injuries. I didn't, you know, go too extreme or anything. I just want to go. You got self-control, you got self-discipline, and you got encouraging decisions to make as a referee behind the wheel. Now, if this message sounds far-fetched, that's okay. I don't care. I at least would like to put my two cents on what I believe should be held accountable. You see a yellow light? Slow down, be the wise one, and just make the call to hold that red light until it turns green, and then move on. Now, if you don't like red lights, that's fine. That's you. You don't like red, but I'm all right with stopping for the red and, you know, waiting my turn for my turn to go. We're in two-ton cars. 
you know that your 220 pounds, using my weight for example, your 220 pounds is not going to stop when you immediately stop. That's two tons plus your 220 pounds stopping all with you because you're wearing your seat belt. Now I'm pulled over and I'm stopped in a parking lot to tell you all this because I'm not dumb and doing it on the road and jeopardizing my safety. I don't want to be foolish. I want to be smart. So you can take this or you can disregard this. It's your choice, your referee call. Live and you learn and you learn as you live. Take care guys. Be safe on the roads. I'm out.